In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Uh, my brothers and sisters, as, as I begin this tape, I want to speak to you about prayer spaces or prayer areas in your home, especially during this time where we aren't having public masses and things like that. The domestic home or domestic church becomes quite central to one's prayer life. And I would encourage you to have things like statues of St. Joseph, Our Lady, uh, the Bible, of course, Scripture, as well as maybe spiritual things you might be reading. Um, and always remember, I, the other day I was at a family home and, and it was to celebrate a, a young lady's birthday. And she turned 12 that day and it was beautiful. On the prayer space they had a... Um, they had her first communion like placemat, and then they had her baptismal candle. And during dinner, they lit the baptismal candle and let it burn a little bit and talked about uh, what gift she was to God and, and talked about her, the day of her baptism and those types of things. So I would encourage you to continue to do these things, to talk about our faith and to pray. The other thing you can do too is with the opportunities with technology, you can download uh, prayer books like the bravery or the liturgy of the hours um, the mass readings and so on and so forth so I would encourage that as well so my dear brothers and sisters Father Anthony has given us some great advice that we're all gonna have this special place in our homes where we can gather and we can see a beautiful image of Jesus our Savior Mother Mary the Saints and it's gonna be a place where we go to pray together um, as a family and we're gonna be finding a way for us to be able to share our own prayer spaces, those we already have and those we're gonna create. So in the near future, look for this opportunity to share with other families in the parish um, how you've responded to this wonderful initiative of having this sacred place in our homes.